we're going to start creating families. A family is in Revit is a 3D object that has been saved like a block model in Autodesk. So here we need to go to families, click new, create new family. Here you will be asked of what type of templates uh, you need to use if you are unsure of uh, the type of family you would like to create because there is there are a lot of types like floor mounted, a floor hosted type, wall hosted or vertically placed or ceiling hosted uh, family. So if you are not familiar or unsure of which uh, template to use, just use the metric generic model first. Later we can adjust it and change it to a different type of uh, family. So click generic. Now you are shown this display. You still have the properties and this is the floor plans and floor level. Here currently this display is a reference of the floor plans for reference level. Here are the tools to put extrusion blend, full sweep, sweep blend, void forms, motor lines component, and reference point. So this is the two reference point origin. Uh, the, ex the, in the intersection between the two points is the insertion point. So in order to create some object, let's set first the reference plane, which is reference to this. Let's create. Make it shorter than the two reference uh, lines so that at least you are aware which is the ref add-in reference plane. Two. We're going to create a simple box family. Now let's place some dimension to these lines to our reference point. Here, to here. We must select it continuously from this side to this side to this side, otherwise, the equal sign will not show. Here, also, we have to select from one side to the other side and click outside and uncheck. And cross the equal sign. Then let's create a dimension for overall dimension. This can be used a parameter as a parameter. But for now, let's just maintain it. Or let's create a parameter for this. Here, once you click this dimension, you can create a parameter. Let's speed. Click type means you need to type it in. Instance is automatically adjusted. So maintain type, maintain all this. Here, let's select this as okay, this one should be that. And let's create this as that. Now let's draw in our shape, which is where we need to go to create and extrusion. We're going to use the extrusion first as our first example. Here we're going to create the box. You can use a line, draw in one corner to the other corner to the other. Here you can also draw a line, a rectangle. You need to draw it outside your or inside your dimension so it doesn't cross open. Then we need to move this, either you can move this and align to this, then you need to lock it. So it means it's locked into these dimensions. Once you can change this, it will automatically adjust. So here you can also select the align to with the reference to and align, lock. Align and lock. Click align and lock. So it's now locks to this four reference pin that we have created earlier. Now the depth of extrusion, let's say it's about 1 meter, so we can easily see it. Once we finish, click here, check, then we can go to 3D. Now you have created your first family box in Reddit. This box you can insert it into your project. 
So later we'll go with the open up project and insert this box. So now it's going to be inserted in the vertical position here. Yeah? So it means that when you go to the front view, the one meter height is this height. So basically we haven't created the parameter for the box height. So now I show I'll show you what it means with the parameters that we have created. Let's say this is the reference data in 3D. We have the depth and the width. If you go to this uh, family types, you can see that this is the parameters that we have created. Let's type in 3 meters. Click apply. As you can see, the object has stretched out to our preferred dimension. Let's set it as 1000. This is called a parametric family because later on you can still change the dimensions once you insert it into the project. Here in level, you will see that the width has changed to 3000. Here 1000. If you want to change it, just click here. Can actually change the dimension because this is parameter you need to change it from this dimension. Another thing you need to be mindful is the family category values that you will use. Okay, if you there are different multiple family categories, here you can select if, if it's an architectural tag. Or is it a mechanical type of panel? Let's just use the architecture key. Or you can just select it if you need it or all this discipline uh, So but be mindful, it can be placed as an appliances, this word, table place, columns, or any family category. So now let's use this as an appliances for furniture. Under furniture, click OK. Always vertical, it means when you place it, it's vertical up. OK. Now let's open a project. Let's just take it in. Then you can go back to the family. Load into project. Yes, click yes, save the family. Here, just save it as one, maximum five, of five option. Uh, box one. Click save. Then it will be loaded into the open project. As you can see, the box is here. You can place it anywhere. It's floating. If it's a floor base or poster family, it will attach to this floor. But the generic one, you can place it anywhere. Later, we can adjust it once we go to the elevation. Just place it first here. Let's go to level 10. We have to be in the uh, box. Let's go to the plan view to insert the panel. Because it's vertical, okay, so you can place it. And then you can also rotate it by just pressing the skip paste bar. Now let's go to 3 d You see once it's done, you have created your family, first family box in red. 